Welcome guys, my name is Albert and in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys about the two mistakes that destroys men's success with women. So if you have not already, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos because on this channel, I teach you guys how to become better men and how to improve your interactions with women, okay? So if you have not already, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. So let's dive right into this topic, okay? Because this topic is very important. I'm gonna be talking about two very important mistakes that guys make. And under these mistakes, there are gonna be subcategories in each of them. There are gonna be three subcategories, right? And uh, the, the subcategories are going to be in pickup, in dating, and in sex, right? So those are the three subcategories. Now, what is the first mistake that men, that destroys men's success with women? This mistake is spending time with the wrong woman or better yet wasting time with the wrong woman okay so we're gonna take this like I said in subcategories when it comes to pickup when it comes to dating and when it comes to sex right wasting time with the wrong woman when you're wasting time with the wrong woman when it comes to pickup th this is when you're first approaching her I see a lot of guys right they they um they don't approach a lot, but they finally pick up the courage and they finally, they see a girl that they really like and they go and they try to spend game on her, right? They try, you know, they, you know, pick up the courage and go and, you know, spend game on her. And here's the problem. That would be great if the woman was into it. But I see a lot of guys, they go and they're, you know, they're trying to spend game and the girl is literally like, you can see in her face that she doesn't want this guy there, right? You can see in her face that she doesn't want this guy there. Like, like she is just not into what he's saying. She's just waiting for the guy to leave. And most guys, this is the kind of situations they get themselves into. And instead of realizing that this is a situation that is not winnable and just kind of cut their losses and move on, they keep trying to deal with women just because maybe they feel like, okay, maybe she gave them some sign in the beginning or something, right? Here's the thing. You have to live in reality. If this woman is not doing what you want her to do when you're trying to pick her up, she's not smiling, she's not engaging with you, she's not even asking you any question, it seems like it's almost an interview of her trying to get a job, then you need to move on okay deal with women that are giving you some sort of interest if she stares at you go talk to her if she's smiling at you while you're talking to her laughing at your jokes laughing at the statements that you're making being engaging with you while you're talking with her carry on but if she's disengaged she's looking away she's 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 kind of giving you one word answers not really asking you any questions then you need to move on okay so now that's that's one part right the other part is dating wasting your time with women that don't really matter that are not a good uh, um a good use of your time when it comes to dating i see a lot of guys they're dating a woman and they're all they're the one doing all the texting if she doesn't text them they will never talk she he has to always initiate the conversation if you're dating a woman and she's not doing any type of work trying to see if you guys can meet up. She's the wrong type of woman. You, you're, you're, you're on a date with her. She's constantly texting. She's constantly texting. You've told her multiple times to put her phone away, and instead of putting her phone away, she tells you not to worry about her phone. She keeps disrespecting you while you guys are dating. But yet, since she's the only prospect that you have, you keep on, you keep on dating her. You keep on investing time in this woman. No, you need to cut this off. Notice where you need to spend your time, right? If the woman is being submissive, she's being feminine, she's always contacting you to see when you guys are gonna meet up. She's always saying, I don't get, to, I don't get much, much of your time, I wanna see you more. She's always engaged when you guys are on the date. She wants to hold your hand, she wants to be close to you. She's laughing at your jokes. She wants to know how you're doing, right? This is important. These are the kind of women that you spend time with, not the one I just described before that, right? So you have to know when to cut your losses. Make sure you're spending your time with the right woman, okay? Now, the, uh, the last subcategory in this first mistake, wasting time with women that don't matter when it comes to sex, 
wasting time with women that are not worth your time when it comes to sex what do i mean right but albert i'm having sex with her you see the thing is i want you guys to learn something right i want you guys in, in this year to understand that it's not just okay to have sex with a woman it's the type of sex you have with her is it passionate is it aggressive is it is it fun you know are you like you know are you really clapping cheeks or are you just kind of just kind of doing like those that grandma type of and grandpa kind of sex the sex that i want you guys to have is almost like porn star-ish type of sex that's the kind of sex i want you guys to be having okay okay and what do i mean by this don't waste your time with women if you're dealing with a woman that she, she tells you oh i don't I don't give I don't give head or she or she complains every every every, every time you want to switch positions you know she is being kind of lackadaisical when you guys are you know trying to get intimate you know she's kind of it's almost like a chore for her you, you can see it's a chore for her right when you, you you guys are having sex you need to cut this woman off right because you don't want to be with a woman that is just uh, she's just kind of like it's like she's always doing you a favor the kind of woman that you want to be dating and having sex with are women that are like man they can't wait to jump your bones she jumps on you as soon as you guys walk in you know she wants to ride you she wants to go down on you she wants to swallow you you know these are the type of women you women that you want to deal with okay so keep those things in mind the first one like i said don't waste your time with women that are not worth it okay so that's the first mistake that men make right they spend too much time with women that are not worth it the second mistake that cripples a guy's success with women is fear what do i mean by fear this fear is what's holding you back this is the second thing that holds and destroys most men's success with women okay and like i said Three subcategories, fear in date, fear in pickup, fear in dating, and fear in sex, right? So when it comes to pickup, this is when a man fears approaching a woman, right? He fears her reaction to him. He she fe he fears that, oh, you know what? She's 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 gonna reject me horribly and everyone's gonna laugh at me. You know, when you start thinking like this, right? When you start thinking like this, it holds you back from approaching. Or maybe he's approached right maybe he's approached the woman and he starts getting into his head he's afraid to oh you know what she laughed at that joke maybe i shouldn't say anything else that would ruin the interaction so he's not being his full self right he's being kind of like fake he's not being as masculine and as confident as he should be and trust me guys women can smell your vibe women can feel your vibe they can they can sense when you are afraid and this is very this is not attractive at all right so you need to get out of your head and just don't worry about making a mistake if you make a mistake there are millions of women out there you can go and do another approach right you learn from your past mistakes right you can't because once you fear right once you fear something right it's gonna keep haunting you it's gonna keep destroying your interactions to come the the best way i have seen that i could overcome my fear and blow through my mistakes were going through the fear multiple times you know approaching fear hitting it head on keep doing what i feared the most until i conquered my fears right so you want to get to a point where you're actually naturally talking to her and so it's no different than than a conversation that you're having with your best friend right that's how relaxed you want to be when you're approaching women because if you're fearful, you're going to be in your head. You're going to start doing interview style approaches where you're just asking her questions, not even listening to her and just regurgitating another question. And it's going to come off as ro robotic and, and not kind of like you're not really flowing, right? So you don't want to do that, right? But I do want you guys to keep approaching. Go into interactions fearless, okay? Go into interactions, not even fearless. Go into interactions in spite of fear, right? So the more you practice, the more you're going to get better at it. The second subcategory is dating. You see, a lot of guys, I feel like some of my clients, right? Um, they come to me and they ask me, you know what? Um, we, were, we were having a great time, but I didn't want to mess it up by inviting her over to my place. You see, guys, 
sometimes mm -hmm. women actually want you to invite them over to your place. There's something that you have to understand. There's something called plausible deniability, right? This is what this is the way that women trick themselves into actually coming to your house, right? Into actually getting intimate with you, right? They will never agree to a woman will never agree to you saying, "Hey, let's go to my house and bone each other up." Yes, I mean, if you guys have been going out for a long time, of course. But on the first few on the first few dates, you know, you might want to say, "Hey, you know what? Let's let's uh, let's go to my place for a nightcap." She might first, you know, she might give you that token resistant at first because she doesn't want to be a seen or perceived as a slut, but that's fine, right? You say, oh, no, don't worry, don't, uh, don't worry, it'll be fine. We'll, we'll go to my place, we'll be there for like a quick minute, just, you know, show you how, show you how I live, and then we'll, we'll be gone. And then she'll be like, okay, right? You, she just needs to give that token resistance so that it's okay, so you don't see her as a slut right? But most guys aren't even willing to go that far because of the fear. They're afraid that she might say something or she's disrespectful on the date, right? Texting. But a guy is like, no, 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 it's okay. You know, I worked so hard to get on the date. I don't want to mess, mess it up. No, it's fine. Let her know. Yo, put your phone away. Put your phone away. This is a day. You can talk to them later, right? You should never be afraid of what a woman's reaction will be to you actually stating your boundaries, your principles. You should never be afraid. So that's dating. Now, when it comes to sex, fearing her reaction also can kill your, kill your interaction with this woman. What do I mean by this? You see, a lot of guys, when they're having sex with a woman, right, and they wanna switch positions, they start getting fearful that if, if I say we should switch positions, She's going to say, I don't do that. Look, take charge. Like I always say, women look, look to men for leadership, right? So if you want her to ride you, put her on top of you. If you want to do doggy style, do doggy style. Switch her over. Say, hey, babe, turn around. You know, whatever position that you want to do, remember, you're the one taking the lead. So you have to lead. You cannot be afraid, especially when you're dealing with women. You can't be afraid of her reaction. Right, because she is looking for you to lead. So do not fear of her reaction. Lead the interaction, okay? Remember guys, when it comes to fear, you can either you can either forget everything and run or you can face everything and rise, right? You can either rise to the occasion and get what you want out of the interaction or you can continually fail because you let fear control you. So it's up to you guys. Guys, that is the video for today. If you have liked that, like the video, subscribe, share this video with someone that needs to hear it. If you guys have any comments, let me know in the comment section below. I love interacting with you guys down there, okay? So with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.